college students, one reason to get a college degree is to have the chance to make a good living. But for most, a degree also means debt. This year, about 70% of college students graduated with student loan debt, averaging around $33,000 per student and totaling more than $1.6 trillion nationwide. One innovative high school program is preparing students to move straight into good paying jobs without a college degree or even trade school. Barry Peterson talked to students participating in this job market jumpstart. It looks like an aircraft maintenance hangar, but it isn't. Do you guys have your stethoscope? Or a real hospital room. My chest is tight. Not that either. And yes, this is a fully equipped auto repair shop. And let us know when you have a good connection. Where some cars are right off the assembly line. What else is dangerous under here? High voltage, <laughs> everything. But these aren't mechanics, not nice. yet. They are students at an unusual high school called the Cherry Creek Innovation Campus, where 16-year-old Taylor Oden has a plan go from high school to work. My mom wasn't very ecstatic about it. Would rather me go to college. And so is my dad, but understands that you don't need to go to college to be successful nowadays. And at auto service facilities like this one for Rickenbaugh Cadillac in downtown Denver, <laughs> mechanics' salaries can get high, says service manager Blaze Flaherty. You could do as well as $100,000 or plus with the right shop, the right amount of work, the right amount of education, and the right amount of dedication. Wow, that's more than comfortable. The school opened this year, a $43 million custom-built facility with specialized classrooms. Like this fully equipped restaurant kitchen designed to mimic real-world settings where the learning is hands-on. We're building a tower vertically. Students are volunteers and must also attend and pass regular high school classes to get their diploma. And while some students may go on to college, others here will go right to jobs. That was a tough sell for Principal Mark Morgan. I get the sense that a lot of parents are not always comfortable with the idea of not going from high school right to college. And so for parents, we're really trying to educate as well that what really matters is having a successful plan where a student will graduate high school and go into a career where they can be happy and healthy and something that can sustain them. What areas are you experiencing pain in? My leg hurts. Oh, okay. So that sounds like something within your scope to go ahead and help her with. The most popular class is four months of training to be a certified nurse's aide. Teacher Melissa Legg is a registered nurse. That certification exam, once they pass it, they have it in their hand, they can go to that employer and say, I'm certified to work as a CNA in a hospital, home health, long-term care, rehab, you name it. What's the demand for these students in terms of people looking to hire them? They want them yesterday, basically. It took a lot of work to create an aircraft mechanics class. First, they needed aircraft. They bought a used 1981 helicopter and two planes that were flown to a nearby airport and then, at dawn on a Sunday morning, towed to the school. What do you think would happen with that dent right there? We take this part off and then just restructure that, I guess. Thor Barlow is a senior. What does it mean to you, Thor, to have this kind of opportunity to learn by doing? I absolutely love it. I'm a very visual learner. I'm a very hands-on learner. You can go inside, like you can see all these open engines, you can see how all that works, how it fits together, how this doesn't work. It'll, it can either affect just a little bit of the engine or the entire thing. And the school got FAA approval to graduate certified aircraft mechanics, training that instructor David Williamson says can be very pricey. If these kids had to go to a school, what would it cost them to get this certification? About $40,000. Really? Really. And this is basically free? Basically free, yes, sir. And are there jobs out there when they walk out of here? Yeah, there's plenty of jobs out there. Another skill students learn, how to succeed after they've landed a job. So 30% of every student's grade on this campus is about professional skills. It goes to work ethic, showing up to work on time, what it means to truly collaborate, what it means to lead and to be led. And that's the real lesson taught here, that success can be a good career with good pay and doing what you love. It's life-changing. Yeah, that's it is, so It's amazing. For CBS This Morning Saturday, yeah. Barry Peterson, Centennial, Colorado. You know, if you ever see online, it'll say, like, here are the six jobs that pay a lot yeah. that you don't... Yeah. 
a lot of these All jobs of are in there. And not for, for everyone, it's not always about learning to a certain degree. It's the job that they want, and you have to give them that well, opportunity. think about it. Our electricians, our plumbers, I mean, they're the service people, mechanics, all of those you don't necessarily have to go to college for, and we need them. Right. We need them desperately, and they make well over six figures. You can still learn. You can still read and do other things yeah. as well.